Hello, Mr. DPD. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. Take your time. Get that job done. So here we go. My first motor vlog. Welcome, welcome. Hope the audio is good because the wiring on this thing is so messy. Hope you can hear me because all I can hear is my exhaust. Exhaust is too loud. It's so good to be out. The weather is so good. But you know, we're still in lockdown. Probably wondering why I'm out. So I'm just gonna go to the shop and grab some essentials. So yeah, a lot of people are still outside. Go, 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 go. It's alright buddy, you are welcome. So yeah, I really hope the audio is good because my sauce is too loud. Anyway, you will see when it's out. <laughs> when it's out and it's uploaded, that means it's good. So let's hope for the best. Alright, so I'm just gonna go to the big Tesco and grab some essential. The thing about going to Tesco is just like a big queue in there. <sighs> but you know, it is what it is. So I haven't ridden my bike for like few weeks I think a month now or less I can't remember but yeah it's been ages and it's just so good to be out as you can see I'm so excited especially with this uh, mic setup I always wanted to do this but I always hesitant I always overthink and then overthinking it's gonna delay things another thing is I don't know what who's my target uh, regarding the viewers because you know um, I'm from Philippines originally so I want to reach out to them as well so if you notice of us speaking of different language that's Tagalog that's my native language that's our language in the Philippines so that's one of the reasons as well why it's this thing is delayed because I don't know I don't know who to approach I don't know who's to target viewers but anyway I'm just gonna be me I'm just gonna be natural and you know try to reach everyone so like I said uh, you might find it weird when I speak a different language like I said it's Tagalog so my approach to this is gonna be a Taglish so it's a combination of Tagalog and English but you know it is what it is but you know motorbike is a motorbike it's all the same and we enjoy it so I just wanna share my riding with you guys so yeah this is my first time as well setting up this mic adapter from GoPro it's a small device that allows you to connect a mic on your GoPro and apparently this is the only adapter that works the GoPro obviously and then it's so expensive as well it's like 50 quid it's like 49.99 something like that I purchased mine as well ages ago and due to the lockdown there's like a delay I think there's like a one month delay oh, it is a beautiful day as you can see I got my quad lock here if you want to see the installation with that it's in my YouTube you just have a look might go for a gas as well because I'm running though I got like three bars oh that exhaust though hope you can hear it because at the moment that's all I can hear it's my exhaust so yeah I would think a lot and then it delays me there we go but now we're out we're doing it so you know we're still in lockdown it is a weird time it is a strange time most of us want to go out but you know we need to see the bigger picture it is very serious there's a lot of people died and there's a lot of people sacrificing their lives for us you know, I hope eventually we be okay and this will be end. I hope my GoPro is still on. Man, it is such a beautiful day. So I'm not recommending you to go out to go for a ride just for fun. You need to think of other people as well. But surprisingly, there's still a lot of people outside. And I'm one of them. But, you know, I'm only here for essentials, but I don't know what other people are up to. But I'm not judging anyone. Do what you have to do. Make sure you keep your distance. Da 
look at those cruise ships. Those cruise ships have been here for ages. I don't know if there's people inside waiting for clearance, so I don't know. But yeah, it's been here for a while. Beep, beep. I just noticed my phone is upside down. It is such a good weather. I don't know how many times I said it already, but I don't care. It is good. It is actually good. But yeah, even though it's good, you just need to go out for your essentials. Don't go out for just, you know, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. I don't want to say too much about it. We all aware of the situation. We all know what to do. Oh, this exhaust. So good. You're probably wondering what exhaust I have. I have the Acropobic Carbon full system exhaust on my bike. Hey, it just sounds good. I know there's a lot of exhaust out there right now and, and a lot of people are saying, oh, this one is the best. Oh, that one is the best. But you know, but really it's the best one is the one that you have. You just need to appreciate what you can afford and appreciate what you have. Look at that tandem bike. Imagine if there's a tandem motorbike. Yeah, go boy, go get it. Get that miles in. All right, all right, all right. No need to rush. Goodness, it is so hot, and I'm wearing this gloves at the moment because I can't find my other gloves. Anyway, and oh, look at that reflection though. Look at that reflection though. Ice in the road, ice in the road. Oh, that exhaust. You know, lately I've been working a lot on my motorbikes, a lot of installation, a lot of bits and bobs to keep myself busy. And it's a good destruction for not going out. It is, it is really good to be honest. Just looking for something to do at home. Started buying some bits, some basic parts that you can change on your bike easily, you know. Well, except for the indicator. The wiring is so complicated, my goodness. After a lot of research, a lot of YouTubing, done it, done it. I put it in the description, I put it below, that's what they said, that's how they said it. I'm just copying them, I don't know what I'm doing right now to be honest. Ah! You're welcome, that's okay, take your time, she's across the line. I don't know what to say, I don't know what to talk about. Right, I decided to go to Asda instead, no, not Asda, Sainsbury, Sainsbury instead, yes. So I'm gonna go in one of the big Sainsbury that we have here in Southampton. I think I mentioned Tesco earlier. I don't know why I said Tesco. There you go. Look at that smile. I really hope this audio is good. Or else everything's just gonna be wasted. I've never ridden my bike for a while because I normally just drive my car to the shop, get my stuff. And today the mic adapter arrived, but I managed to install it. No worries, buddy. Nice bike. Saying. That's the reason why, that's the reason why I'm out. I nearly forget what I'm saying. I got distracted. I decided to take my bike out today. So it's like a test motor vlog. I don't know what to expect. Once it's done, I'm just gonna edit it and upload it and share it to you guys. And please let me know what you think. I need it. I need your advice. I don't know what I'm doing to be honest. <laughs> yep, that's uh, Thompson Road. A lot of bumps. Tak bung pogi. Well, you know, this is just a chill ride. This is just a tak bung, tak bung magin oh. Always nod to fellow bikers. Always, always. You know the thing when you see when you see like someone riding a bike with the L plate. Do you nod or you don't nod? I normally nod sometimes, but not all the time. You know, you just I don't know. It's just a weird thing that you, when you see someone with the L plate, you just like, uh, is he really a rider? Is he really a rider? So I don't know. It's just a weird thing. Obviously, he's riding a bike, so you just like, uh, okay, get your license done, and I'll nod. I'll nod to you, mate. Uh oh, jaywalking. So we're nearly there to the shop. So I think I can't, I can't take you with me because my camera is attached to the uh, to the helmet and it's and it's complicated if I take it off and put it back. So I'll be quick. I promise. I'll be quick. I mean, at least for you guys. Thumbs up for you, Mr. Deliveroo. So we're entering now to the car park, motorbike parking. So right, no rush. 
Look at that little boy. I know you want to rev it. Next time, buddy. Let's keep our distance for now. Ooh, look at that Yamaha. So I'm just gonna be quick, and then I'll be back with you guys. There we go. We got all what we need. So yeah, let's let's go home. I saw a guy wearing a full snorkeling mask. You know one of those full face masks? I was tempted to film him, but I was like, okay, I respect your dedication. I respect your confidence rocking that snorkeling mask. All right, let's get out of here. Be one of those guys who rev a lot and like under the bridge or underground or parking space like this. I'm one of those, but not all the time. Come on then, go on. Go on mate, go on, go on. It's alright boy. I'm just gonna stop for gas, for fuel, for petrol or whatever you call it. So make sure your tank is always full. You can store it for a long time or you can add some fuel treatment so your fuel does disintegrate or does damage during those times. Okay, let's go. Some of you wondering, this is on miles. Some of you just want to know. That in UK we use miles. That's a sweet top right there. Okay, where are you going? Stay there. Oh my goodness! Nearly mate, nearly! I don't know if you saw that. Alright, alright, okay, 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 relax, relax. I don't want to play with you mate! Oh, goodness, what a beautiful day! Ooh, there we go. Right, so, if you're not from the UK, I'm just gonna explain to you quick how the uh, petrol system works here. I think in Europe, the black is uh, the petrol one, and then the green is the diesel one. So, here in the UK is the opposite, green is petrol, and black is diesel. And it's a self serve system, pull the nozzle, wait for the indicator, and you can hear the pump, that means it's on, and you just pump the pump. Oh, I should have used gloves. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, 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 there you go, she's filled up. Put it back. So that's seven pounds and 89 pence. Not too bad. So yeah, let's pay. So that's number eight. So I got this petrol loyalty card. Hand that. Number eight, please. Thank you. There you go. All good, Jay's man. Have a good day. So that's how you do it. Nice and simple. Especially the contactless. Just tap your card. Are we still roll? So yeah, that's how you do it. Here in the UK, self serve. So once you pull out the nozzle, the guy behind the till is going to activate it. And once you hit the pump, you just fill your bike or your car, whatever vehicle you drive or you ride. Right, let's get out of here. That's how you do it. Convertible, especially in this world. In a water bike, of course. But, you know, like I said, just go out if you have to. Just go out for essentials. Don't go out just for fun, for leisure and all that stuff. You know what to do. You know what to do. If you're wondering what handlebar I have, this is an aftermarket handlebar. So you can see this SLS X01. I got my installation in this one as well. My YouTube, if you want to check, link in the description. You know how it is. Right, I think I'm just going to end here, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for listening. So remember to try your best to stay home, keep safe, and keep well. I'm out.